day. Uh, Dakota will just kind of pan around what we're looking at right now. <clears throat> Check out this sweet little fire. Found some rocks around the riverbed. Got my trusty lodge cast iron fired up here and just starting to heat up. And uh, boy, let me tell you, am I ever pumped about this ingredient. So we got some beautiful pigeon here. So you can see we've we've plucked them completely, left that beautiful tender skin on. I've left the uh, the legs on so we can handle them. Plus there's a little bit of meat on those legs. And you can see I've I've kind of plated them on a piece of ice I found. I love doing this outside because honestly it's like uh, nature just provides the coolest thing. So we actually we got three so we breasted one of them out uh, and I've got it out here in the open. What's actually happening is it's starting to dry a little bit, which is nice. If you want to get a really good saute, which we do, you want to make sure there's uh, re remove as much moisture as possible. We've got some hearts and livers. And then let me show you our, uh, our little uh, cantina here. It's actually pretty cool. So we've got an ammo box. And in the ammo box, take a peek in there, you can see we got all kinds of goodies. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I've got, uh, this is something I really like. Uh, I've mixed uh, pepper and salt, so it's just in one container. That's four to one. So I'm going to season them in a minute. But just before I do, I want to talk to you about, and you see I've got, uh, this is actually a little bit of bourbon here I've got in this. So we're going to finish these off with some bourbon. But to start off with, what I want to do is I want to toast some spices. So I've got uh, fennel seed and I've got some coriander seed. And I want to show you how to do this. Now, first of all, it's really important to preheat the pan. So I can feel this pan is just nicely starting to heat up. You can see that I've got that pan nicely seasoned. So when I got it new, I, uh, I rubbed it down with some uh, um, canola oil and then baked it in the oven just to make sure that it was uh, nicely seasoned. So I'm just going to put a little bit of coriander seed in there. And what happens when you toast the seeds is it activates all of the oils. And this is fennel seed. So the fennel is going to have that very familiar kind of licorice fragrance. Now I'm going to leave those for a minute. You'll notice I'm not putting any oil in there. It's not necessary. So the heat begins to activate the oil. So we're going to do a little bit of, uh, I've got some paprika. So the smokiness from the paprika. And then we'll have some nicely toasted spices. So I got a flat bottom rock and I'm just gonna set that up. Now here's the key. So I've got a little bit of oil. So now I'm gonna add the oil and what happens is this will flavor it. First of all, let me tell you, this is so fragrant. All you could do, all you smell the coriander. It's actually, we're outdoors and it's still, it's so intense. It's so hard to see the smoke coming off it, but there's just smoke just billowing out of all of those seeds. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the birds, okay, and you can, and I'm literally, I'm just going to rub them in some of that oil. You can hear it start to sizzle already. Turn that up like that. A little bit more here with this one. So the key is, uh, you know, with pigeon, we've got a, you can see the, the color of that meat. It's fairly dark. Uh, so you want to make sure it co turn around. Look at those Canada geese there. We've got some... Uh, Boy, it's a good thing. It's a good thing they're out of season, let me tell you. Um, but uh, one of the things about this is you can see the color of the meat, so it's very, very uh, bold flavor. So what we want to do is want to make sure that we match those bold flavors with uh, with equally bold flavors. So you can see I've got a nice coating on each one of them. I'm going to toss the uh, the hearts in, and I'm going to toss the livers in too. Now here's the key. Want to make sure that uh, we season with some salt and pepper so i'm gonna i've got some beautiful uh flaked sea salt we'll put that in so a couple simple ingredients really improve the overall flavor now those breasts are going to be done uh before those uh whole pigeons are roasted but i'm going to go back to the fire with this straight on Oh man, it smells so good already. Okay, so let's check on our beautiful pigeon. Oh yeah, look at those beauties. Just before I turn it, I'm gonna add, I've got some of this, oh, beautiful smoked paprika. It's a sweet paprika. Put some of that on top. Oh my gosh, when the fire hits it, immediately 
it just starts making it so incredibly fragrant. And put some out of those breasts. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Okay, so let's give this a quick turn. Let's have a quick look. Nice and tight. Have a look at what these beautiful, oh yeah. Gorgeous. Getting nice coloration. You know, I think this would be a really good time to talk about deglazing. Let's grab a little bit of that beautiful bourbon. Where is it? You can see we've already been into it. Okay, so deglazing. <clears throat> why, uh, why do French chefs always have uh, alcohol? Because uh, in the alcohol is some incredible developed flavor. With bourbon, you've got the, uh, the oak casks, you've got all the development. So when we add it, and let's have a quick look at this, as it goes in, it's gonna give us a little bit of uh, flame, but the more important thing, and I wish you could smell it, is instantaneously what you have, is you have a, uh, uh, all of that flavor begins to concentrate on the pigeon, and it also brings up any of the flavor that's developed on the bottom of the pan. Now take a look at these here. We're gonna reveal these. Oh, these breasts are coming along here. Just gonna give them a little feel here. I can feel that there's still a little raw in there, so we're just gonna let those keep cooking, but you can see that those spices, they just continue to toast on top of those birds. You can see it in the bottom of the pan, though. They're looking great. Now, what we did a minute ago is we pulled out, we didn't fully take one apart. We got the breasts here. Now, we've pulled these aside and we've let them rest. It's really important to let your meat rest. That way it relaxes. So you can see here, I'm just gonna cut off a little piece here. We're gonna give this a try. Look at that meat there. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh. Those toasted spices just take that to another level. It was the first time I've ever had pigeon. To be honest, I was a little skeptical of it. It doesn't taste any different than chicken though, to be honest, like honestly. I feel like I just sprinkled paprika, toasted some fennel and some co coriander and just put it on chicken. That is delicious. Because it seems like every time we come out here we tap into a new line of adventure and excitement and honestly, um, you know, it's the most relaxing, exhilarating thing you'll ever do in your whole life and we just want to share that with you. But enough of that, let's get to this the reveal of these beautiful pigeon. Have a look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So with the use of the cast iron, one of the important things about cast iron and the reason you see it uh, at an open fire all the time is because it has the ability to hold the heat and that residual heat essentially gives you an oven here in the outdoors. So you can take something as simple as a few spices and some salt and pepper and turn it into something really special. So uh, thank you very much for uh, tuning in, for watching this. Uh, Dakota and I had an amazing day. I think Bailey's gonna be a little ticked about not being out here today, but uh, we missed you, Bay. But uh, we're gonna get to eating these beautiful pigeon and have uh, one last look at those beautiful, beautiful little birds.